Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be joined by my mom behind the scenes of how to do a chicken and achote um, dish. It's super delicious. My mom's made it a few times before and honestly it's one of the best chicken um, sauces that I've ever had. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys try it out. And if you wanna see how it's made, keep on watching. All right, so what we're going to need to make this delicious meal is going to be four pieces of chicken breast. You're going to need about two cups of spinach or a bunch of spinach, depending on your liking or what you have. Two cups of sour cream, some two tablespoons of butter, three to four pieces of garlic, some achote if you have it locally. If not, you can substitute for paprika. You're going to need two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, half a tablespoon of thyme, and... Um, let me see, what am I missing? Uh, salt and pepper to taste. So we're gonna get started with seasoning our chicken. So we're gonna put some pepper. Al gusto? Okay. Tú me dices cuando, mom. Okay, I'm gonna put some salt. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit down and like marinate for probably like 15 minutes. So when we are done, we'll be right back. Psych, we're right back. We forgot to put the um, achote in. Okay, so this is a paste. This is a paste of achote. So what we're gonna do is um, just grind it down and then just sprinkle it all over your chicken. Okay, don't be scared to get dirty. Just get nice and all up in your chicken. All right, and then we're gonna start massaging this into our chicken breast on both sides. Let's see. Okay. My mom's shy; she doesn't want to be on camera. And she says to massage it in so it dissolves really, really good. And again, if you don't have a chill down hand, you can always substitute this for paprika. All right, guys. So. Um, we're gonna start chopping up our four pieces of garlic. This is where I do recommend to have minced garlic on hand like that You don't have to do all the hard work, but we're at mom's house and she does it all by hand So we're gonna go ahead and chop this up Real real thin. Don't be a lazy chopper So once you wait for your chicken to prep, make sure to turn on your oven to, what did 350. they? 350? To 350. Um, and just make sure that you take all the other ollas out of your oven because you know us Mexicans, we keep everything in the oven. film on the camera now um, because my phone ran out of space so what we're doing now is we're going to be putting um, some butter back in the pan another spoonful of butter into the pan be putting in the garlic all right and we're gonna saute the garlic a little bit until it turns a little brown and there's still some achote in there and then we're gonna put in the thyme or thyme it's a th so I don't think the h is silent but I guess it is I'm gonna say it. Okay, so she's saying that once the garlic is nice and toasty, you're gonna throw in the sour cream. The cream is coming out so, so delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy and wow. Si tienen el polvito, se va a hacer más poquito esto. So she's saying if you have the powder of the achote, to, um, it'll definitely make the sauce a little bit more red. But because we're using the actual paste of achote, it's coming out um, just a little bit more creamy than usual. But still, I can vouch that it's delicious. 
Okay, so she's saying that once the um, sauce starts boiling, like right now, um, we're gonna go ahead and put in the spinach. And remember, don't be afraid to use spinach. Spinach always, um, oh, our oven is ready. Spinach always shrinks, so don't be scared to put a ton because it's gonna shrink and it's gonna act like we only put three little pieces, but it's okay. Spinach likes to do that. And as you can see, the um, the spinach is shrinking, so that's normal, guys. It's gonna happen, and it's okay. Spinach just likes to do that once it's cooked. Look how delicious that's looking, guys. It's looking so good. Yum. Okay. So now we're gonna be transferring the sauce over to our pan. This looks so good. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it in our oven. Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and leave the chicken in here for about 25 minutes. Um, and while you do that, remember to always clean up after yourself. Uh, we're going to pick up the kitchen and then we're going to get into making the rice and um, I think we're going to do the rice off camera only because I already showed you in my last chicken adobo video how to do the rice. Uh, but yeah, so let's wait and we'll see how it turns out. Alright guys, so it's time to take out our chicken. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and slide this out. Be nice and gentle and careful. Don't burn yourself. Oh, this looks amazing. This is so good. Do this for your friends, for your hubby, for your wife. Yes, I'm talking to you guys. You're gonna impress them. They're gonna be like, oh my god, this is like a five star restaurant recipe. Definitely, de definitely, definitely, definitely gonna impress people with this. So good. So yeah guys, that was the video for today. If you guys like this video, please comment down below. Let me know what you think after you try this recipe. Uh, but yeah, and if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.